Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with friends, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Thank you. I recently did a video on mini scout knives such as this. There are basically three implement knives with a little um, cap lifter screwdriver, can opener, and then a small pin blade. Um, this one is pre-World War II, this one was post-World War II, same basic blades, just slightly looking different. And then finally, this is a modern one uh, from Rough Rider. Uh, I recently came across another um, mini scout knife, and I thought I would share that with you now. So now this one is also post-World War II, basically from around the 1950s or 60s. And it is closely related to these old Japanese hobo knives, which are anything but a mini. But they did make many versions of this. They even made one with a fork and a spoon. I do not have one of those, but I do have this little mini camper knife. Um, that is basically about two and a quarter to two and three eighths inches long. And uh, got a nice little bell on the end. And you can see the family resemblance. It's got that... Uh, strange bone handle on there and everything and uh multiple layers of tools so it is a swiss army style knife um and uh well let's get started looking at it now undoubtedly when you shrink things down they're not always better you see on the back here you have a uh a file a uh big reamer and a corkscrew well this one also has a file a reamer and a corkscrew uh, if I can get this out. I do not think that corkscrew is going to do much of any good. Uh, any good whatsoever. But it is there, you know. And you know what? See the difference in sizes? I mean, the corkscrew is, wow, a whole inch long, including the part right there. Um, I don't know what you can do with it, but it's there. <laughs> kind of cute, I guess. And then next over is the file that is also a uh, screwdriver tip, uh, just a flathead screwdriver. You got a file on both sides, and the file is pretty aggressive, so I do think you'd be able to use the file to strike like uh, anywhere matches, you know, strike anywhere matches. They'd probably be able to get lit off of that file. Also, um, you could actually file your nails with it, even though it is pretty short. Um, and finally, you got this uh, reamer here, if I can get it out, uh, which is really just a square bar. Uh, I guess you could try and uh, sharpen that up a bit and get it useful, but uh, I probably would not try. And it, it, you could definitely get it sharper, though. So. Those are the three back tools, and let's go ahead and look at the blades in the inside. Uh, so we can start off with the can opener here. Uh, I don't know how functional it is, but it does look like it has been used. And, uh, oh man, farm fresh still. I've been cleaning this thing and there's still crud in it. In any case, uh, there is a little bit of an edge there on the can opener. Uh, it does not close the best, but then also you're talking about a knife that is probably at least 40 years old and uh, been beat to heck. Uh, and the seal seems to be okay. You got a, another cap lifter screwdriver here. The cap lifter will work. You will be able to open a bottle on there. Uh, and the screwdriver tip is okay too. A little thick, but you can use it for a screwdriver. Uh, on the other side here, you have a small blade. And uh, basically, uh, even though it has got a weird clip going on for it, it is sort of like a worn clip blade. You could easily round it off a bit, but if you did, you would probably screw up the nail neck. But it is almost like a worn clip blade. The, the bottom portion there is pretty flat. In the middle, you have a pair of scissors. Um, do I have a piece of paper? Yeah, I do. Let's try and see if the scissors will actually cut. Actually, uh, not bad. The scissors definitely work. So, uh, at least on paper, you can definitely cut some paper with it. 
and then you can probably cut some string and stuff. So the scissors aren't too bad, and that's something you don't see in the other mini camp knives. And then uh, uh, front side here, where else do we have a blade here? Oh, right there, there it is. And you got a little clip blade. Uh, also, not the best of blades, but it is a clip blade. It does round off a little bit at the top here. Uh, so pretty cool. Um, I think if this knife was uh, brand new, it would have been a little bit better. There you have FWW Japan. That's where whoever FWW is, they're the ones who made it. Uh, and you see on the back side here, stainless. Definitely made for the American market. Um, probably through one of those catalogs, uh, you know, that would sell these kind of things. So it's pretty cool knife, actually, um, for what it is. I mean, uh, yeah, the back tools, <laughs> that corkscrew, I would have, if they would have put a little... Uh, Phillips screwdriver there on the back side instead of that corkscrew, this would have been a, a much better uh, ideal for this knife. But compared to the other uh, mini camp knives, this has a lot more function. You saw the scissors work. Um, I think the build of it, we're looking at a knife, like I said, about 40 years old. Uh, it's doing pretty good for a 40 year old knife. It, uh, the blades don't open and close the best, but uh, it does pretty decent. And you do have nice bone handles on there still. Not crazy about the jigging on the bone, uh, but it is uh, what it is. And yeah, so we got that. Or uh, the closest uh, living relative to them would probably be some of the bigger uh, keychain knives by um, Victorinox. Like this one is the... Uh, Midnight Manager. Uh, it's got some, uh, obviously it doesn't have a corkscrew, but you know, you do have a file and you've got a, uh, a um, screwdriver tip there. You've got the scissors. Um, and then on the opposite side of this, you have um, your cap lifter, a wire stripper, and a Phillips driver. And then a main blade. And uh, so you got all that going. Plus, uh, as this is a midnight manager, you also have uh, a writing ink pen, you know, a nice pen. So you can write with, and also a small light. This one happens to have a red light. So, and uh, size wise, it's actually a little smaller than this uh, Japanese mini camp. You also could grab the Mini Champ, which is almost the same size because it's got three layers going on it. Uh, you still have the uh, ink pen on the Mini Champ, uh, but no uh, uh, no uh, uh, little light. You've got a pair of tweezers instead. But on the other side, you have your scissors the same uh, screwdriver and cap lifter and wire stripper. And then also, if I can get it out, I should be able to, a pin blade. And then on this side, you have a file with a pointy tip. So there's for striking your matches and doing other things. Uh, next to the file, you have another, they refer to it as an emergency blade, but it has your Warncliffe blade. Uh, next to the Warncliffe blade, you have uh, this little um, hook here, hook little blade um, for uh, gutting minnows or whatever, but it's really for peeling your oranges and stuff and uh, for cutting uh, seams around uh, bottle caps and also cutting tape. So it's a, like a little box cutter. And um, what else here? Got your little spatula. And then finally, all the way here, you also have a uh, another screwdriver tip with a little uh, measuring uh, thing there. Three, about four centimeters of measuring on your little thing there. So a little rule. So a lot more tools on this one than you have on this one. But uh, 
this is still pretty cool. Kind of like it. Any case, there you have it. My other uh, mini camp knife uh, to go along with the other ones. Now, if I can only find the one that has the little spoon and the little fork. If I can get one of those, I'll definitely give you another video on that one too. But So my uh, mini camps are now up to four. Um, and they are about as useful as, well, they look. Anyway, let you go. Thank you for visiting Knife Chats. I hope you enjoyed your time here. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel and ringing that notification bell so that you will be notified when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. See you soon.